Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. In this week, we're going to take a look at uh, the second part in creating images for our Net Restore service. Now what I want to show you is an application called AutoDMG. And what uh, AutoDMG does is it creates a, uh, let me just show you here on their website. Uh, it's an application that uh, will basically create an install image. And the beauty of this is, is you can create the install image to use with net install through o uh, Mac OS server, but you can also create this for images that you could put on a USB drive and it would install all of this information uh, for you uh, to restore your Mac. So again, a, a really great, uh, just a great simple application and just another way to do what we talked about. So let me just launch AutoDMG here. And so here we go. You can see we've got AutoDMG. And what this does is the first thing we need to do is drop the uh, Mac OS installer here. So the first thing you're going to need to do again is make sure that you've downloaded uh, the installer from the Mac App Store. Those installers usually sit right in the Applications folder. And so if I come down here, you can see I've got my install Mac OS Sierra uh, right there. And so I'm going to take this particular installer that's sitting right here, and I'm just going to drag it up here. And let's go ahead and close this down. And so what it's going to do is it's going to ex examine it to make sure that it's up to date and doesn't need to add anything else. And you can see right away it says, hey, uh, there's an iTunes update that needs to be applied and a remote desktop client update that needs to be downloaded. So I'll just go ahead and say download. And what it's going to do is uh, download the actual packages and updates that I need so that it can install those inside the package itself. Since the um, actual uh, Mac OS Sierra installer that I have wasn't up to date. So it's going to go ahead through go through this process to download those things. So I'm going to let it go ahead and do that and I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's finished. Okay, so as you can see the package have in, packages have been installed so they're ready to be applied. So those updates will be applied once we do the uh, rebuild or the install. And then here I can add additional software. So one of the things I'm going to do is add these install packages that I have created. So those are in there. Uh, the other thing I can do as well is I can add things like applications. I've had people request, hey, how do I add applications to the build? And this is one way you can do it. Uh, you can also do it through the, uh, through the automator part there. But I can just come in here and just choose whatever, whatever applications I, I want to have added in there and just kind of go through. And so uh, let's just say, for instance, uh, I want to add something like, uh, you know, that. let's say I want to add, uh, I don't know, data rescue, let's say, because that might cause problems uh, there. So I've added that application. And maybe I've got uh, Disk Warrior I want to add on there too, just in case there's some problems so that I've got what I need to work with the particular install to fix it. Again, it's up to you as to what you want to add, but you can drag those applications and additional software and have that added in here as well. And it will, uh, it will actually set that up and make that work for you. Now, once I've done that, I can just go ahead and click on Build here. And what it's going to do is ask where it wants me to uh, you know, install it. I'm going to say the desktop again. And what I'm going to do is change the name here. And I'm going to, I'm going to call this uh, you know, custom, uh, custom, uh, install, custom image, let's say. Let's just do that. And then I'm going to put, uh, you know, uh, Mac OS Sierra, so I know what type it is. And I'm going to do that and create that uh, custom DMG here. And so now it's going to prepare and go through the process of creating this image. And it's going to ask me to authenticate. So I need to do that and say OK. And now it's going to start the install to get that all set up for me. And so it's going to create that disk image. Again, depending on your computer speed, it could take a little bit of time, but I'm going to go ahead and let this run. And when it's done, then I'll show you how to get that uh, as something that's available for some of your uh, net restore images and net install images. Okay, so here we are back on the desktop. And uh, as you can see, the disk image was created. You see I've got it right here, our custom Mac OS Sierra uh, image on my desktop. So that's all set and ready to go. Uh, what you'll want to do is double click on this to mount it. And let me just show you what it looks like when it's been mounted. Let me just go to the finder here. And you can see it mounts as a regular Macintosh hard drive, and it shows you the folders you would expect to see. In fact, if we just wanted to do a check, you can see here in our applications area, we've got our data rescue and disk warrior showing in there. And so everything is set and ready to go. Now what we need to do is we need to create the actual image to get it inside of our net uh, restore or net install image. And so I'm going to do this as a net restore 
uh, image, and uh, we'll, we'll do it that way. So what we're going to do is, if you go into the server application again, so let me just pull up server here, and if we go up to tools up here, and we go to system image utility, uh, we want to pull this up, and you'll notice that uh, we want to look for a source here, and there's our Macintosh hard drive source. So we want to select that source. You can see it tells us what it is. It's given us an 8.5 gigabyte volume. We're going to say next. And then here we can do a net boot or net restore image. So we're just going to select net restore here in this case because uh, we've got it all set. We could even, you know, further customize it if we wanted to and add more things to it. But in this case, I'm just going to let it go. We're going to say next. It's going to ask if we agree with the licensing agreement. And I can add configuration profiles, packages, and post install scripts if I want to. So I could actually add some of these other scripts that I created in this area if I wanted to do that as a post install kind of a thing. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it alone. We're going to say next here. And so what it's going to do is uh, generate, um, you know, we can set up the computer host name if we want to, optionally. And we can say how it configures the options. And uh, we can say that uh, we want to generate names uh, for the computer. So if we go ahead and have names generated, we can do that. If we want a computer host name uh, information put in there, we can set that up ahead of time. Or we can do by host preferences to match the client after the install. It's up to you. We're just going to leave all this blank in this case and go next. Uh, we can set up directory servers in here, which we don't need, we're not going to do. And we can say automatically install to a certain target volume if we wanted to do that. But I'm just going to say next here. And then we have this uh, network disk, and so we can call it, um, I'm going to go ahead and call it net restore, just like it's got here, and uh, we're just going to say uh, custom, let's put a dash on that, and we'll say custom image. So we've got that, we've got all our information on there, we can assign random image uh, index and all that kind of stuff, and we'll include the recovery partition in there, and we'll just say next. And so then again, we can choose the supported computers, and so we're just going to leave those checked and not worry about it. And we can filter clients by MAC address or not. We're just going to leave that alone. And then it's going to name it for us, and I'm going to go ahead and say that. Uh, I think I'm just going to add on here uh, Sierra. So we're going to say uh, Mac OS Sierra so we know the difference. And uh, that, was, that should work. And it's going to put it in the folder we need it, the NetBoot folder. So we're going to go ahead and say Save. And it's going to ask us to authenticate, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we hit OK, and now it's going to create the image from the source and start to make that image work. So I'm going to let this go ahead and run, and when it's done, I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. Okay, so here we are. The uh, image has been created. You see image uh, creation is successful. I could start over if I want to do another one, but in this case, let's just say done. And as you can see, there's our Net Restore custom image that we have set up. Uh, we were able to put that together with all of the different pieces we wanted to have available. So uh, that gives you an idea of how to set up a Net Restore image and just gives you another option for setting that up using some other external tools. Okay, and one more thing before we go, if you're going to use this to boot into one of your install images, uh, let me just show you how to do that. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just come and put this down here. I'm going to come back to my other computer. And what we're going to do is go into System Preferences here. And let me just bring this down. And when you look at System Preferences, if you go uh, over to Startup Disk, what you'll see is all of the different images start to show up here. Again, they're grayed out because I have the lock on. But I can go ahead then and choose which of these images to boot from. And I can restart my computer with those images, and I'm good to go. Now, really important to remember that it needs to be connected by Ethernet. Uh, this will not work over Wi-Fi. I've had a couple people run into that issue. Just wanted to reiterate that, that you do need an Ethernet connection for that to work. So that's all we have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.